Well, she's accused of a crime that has angered horse lovers everywhere, including right here in Metro Atlanta. Fallon Blackwood waived extradition and will soon be headed to North Carolina. She faces allegations that she tricked a man out of two horses and may have sold them for slaughter. And Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis broke this story. He returns with these new developments. Randy. Yeah, Buck and Sinead, Yeah, horse owners here in Metro Atlanta tell police they got scammed too by a veterinary school student who said all the right things. They gave her their horses, believing they were headed to a better life, not their life's end. Fallon, can you tell us what you did with all the horses you brought back to Alabama? Did they go to a slaughterhouse? Fallon Blackwood had to skip her large animal medicine two class at Tuskegee University this morning. The third year vet student had a far more pressing assignment, appearing before a judge on charges. She pulled off a cruel scam. I know the owners of those horses are pretty upset, you know, thinking that the horses were living their life out and then find out that they have been, you know, slaughtered for, for different purposes. So uh, it's just a bad case. According to Net Posse, a nonprofit that tracks horse theft, 28 people across the southeast have now complained Fallon tricked them out of their horses too. A total of 47 horses, each time assuring them she was a vet school student and needed a companion to live with her barrel horse here on this farm near Boaz, Alabama. When they asked for pictures of their horse in their new happy home, police reports say Fallon explained their horse had died in a terrible accident, like being struck by lightning. She told her that the horse had gotten into the feed and colicked and died, which was essentially the same story she had told the owner in North Carolina about their horse. And what about this vet bill that supposedly proves that North Carolina horse died? There's no licensed veterinarian listed by that name in Alabama. She completely has ripped my whole life apart. It took me at least a week to come back just to even just pet my horses. Heather Manchester says she gave her horse Ranger to Fallon last year with the assurance he'd be happier on her farm. Heather believes he was ultimately sold for slaughter instead. I believe he is gone, but I know him and the other horses, if this is where they end up, they didn't die in vain because she hopefully will be getting her justice. And we've set, stopped other horses from going through the same fate. She shares strong feelings with all those other owners, anger and guilt. I'm now completely ashamed. Right now, Fallon Blackwood only faces that one criminal charge in North Carolina, obtaining property under false pretenses. But the sheriff here predicts other law enforcement agencies will soon follow with their own charges, including here in Alabama. I think so. You know, it's just a sad situation. I hope the numbers stop going up, but it looked like the numbers are still going up. You still plan to be a veterinarian, Fallon? Can you give them any answers? They really want to know what happened to their horses. No answers. Many of these people signed contracts with Blackwood when they gave her these, these horses for free, requiring her to return them if for some reason she no longer wanted them. Two auction house owners tell me, depending on their size, horses like those can bring anywhere from $300 to $700 each.